First of all, let's download it. Let's press shortcut video editor because it has a new um it has a new version. Is this one? I'm not going to click to download. I'm just going to the download section. And because they have the new version 17.04, which is this one, because I want the portable one, that means you don't need to install anything. Oh, excuse me, something went wrong. But anyhow, I'm coming back and the download has finished. So just left click it, left click, and then let's see what we get. Just control X. Copy to the desktop. Control B. Okay, and then extract it. Right click, extract all, and then okay, browse it. That's good. Just extract to the to the desktop. Seems like it works and just follow the download we just did earlier. Let's go to our shortcut video. Double click the folder and I'm looking for the executive file. Left click, double click it and run. So basically what you will see is like this. And the very first thing I do is I just go to timeline, left click it, and then you will see a timeline here. That's the most important part. Just quit this one. When you get into it, control O. When you select a footage, it will be like this. So, and you have no way to change the canvas. Let's undo it. And basically what I do is I go to setting and then you just check whatever, just click whatever resolution you want. Let's do 720, oh no, I mean 1080p and 30 FPS. And you see a 1080p canvas here. So when you control all to import footage, you will see you will see it like this so when you drag it to the drag the footage to the timeline to the left most of the timeline what you can do is excuse me you can just put your hand and then left click and then you see um the clip has the color of the clip has been changed to deeper blue and what you can do is you go to filter. All well, the filters, you click to add a filter. There's a plus sign. And you just look for rotate. And this one, that's right there. You can just um, change this. Like you can use the audio filter, video filter, or, or your favorite filter. But I'll use just go I'll just go to the video filters and then I'll pick rotate okay left click it and then you will see this and then you can just change the rotation and the scale and what I do is I change the rotation usually it's 270 oh excuse me 270 and then you will see like this right it's not going to fill up the whole screen so i'll go to scale and then i just enlarge it or you just resize it to a smaller scale you can also do an offset that means um going up or down it depends on your clip if your clip is um going like this Okay, hold on. It's like this. Then the X is left or right. 
and the Y is top or bottom. So it really depends. What I do is simply change it to 270 and then I enlarge the scale to fill up the screen. Let's say I want to do some color correction. Color gray. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's over here. Color grading. And then you just change the scroll wheel. It doesn't have any presets, but um, anyhow, it doesn't affect much. So you can change. See, uh, just change it. You can play around with the tone, like a highlight, something like that. I like adding text. Usually, I just type on um, this is the text, and then you can go to the handle and drag that. Um, either way, and when you want to move the text, just move it here, and you can change the um, uh, the color, something like that. And I'm not sure if I can do Chinese now. Uh, I mean, other character. Okay, so put this one, and then I'll go. Uh, where, where is Chinese or Japanese? Used to be okay. Traditional Chinese. Okay, let's see if I can type. I'm not sure because I couldn't do it in in version seventeen point oh two. So uh, yeah, it comes up with um. Let's see if I can type Cantonese. Wow, yeah, I can type D <laughs> because this is the this is the Cantonese character that doesn't exist in formal Chinese. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay, yeah, very good. Anyhow, I'll just remove this one. And let's say if I want to add a vignette. What is a vignette? It's like uh, this one. Um, let's say if I want to focus this one, focus on this one, and I can change feathering. And I can also change the opacity okay, for the vignette result. Okay, let's say if I'm happy with the result. I can check. Oh, okay. The last thing is you can also add a peak meter. What is a peak meter? The peak meter is like this one, the audio peak meter. You can always check if um your voice is too low or too loud. Okay, so then that's my voice because I'm recording with um only my iPhone. So let's say if I'm not happy with the voice, with the audio, what I can do is I go to add a filter and then I go here show the audio filters and you can always play around with the filters let's say if you add some reverb and just make my voice like this okay and let's untick this one to test to see um just to see my original voice but to hear my audio original voice okay and let's take it and hear it back you can always play around with um with the audio presets okay let's say if i'm happy with that let's move on to export it export export file and what i do is just left click it and then i just press edit one usually i just give it a name just i just i get used to calling it edit one dot mp4 because i save it as mp4 format and save it and for the jobs column it's showing 
um, uh, the processing process. I'm not going to wait because it may take long time because it depends on how fast your computer is. Let me stop it. Control Q to quit. And so basically, that's my tryout on the shortcut video 17.04. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.